What's up everybody? This is Brandon at Blue Cat Mafia. Um, I just wanted to post another video. I'm going to try to keep these coming about once a week about uh, my techniques, my setups, uh, how to's, whatnot. Um, the first, this is the second video. The first video I showed you how I make my bait tank at home. Uh, pretty simple. Check it out if you haven't seen it. Um, easy, easy and cheap. Um, but this video is um, how to tape back Suffix 832 80 pound braid. Uh, I run 832 because I'm one of those people I like to fish for money um, and I do not want to fight the fish much. I want to get them in as fast as possible, uh, especially when there's money on the line. So 832 does that for me. Um, I don't like to play the mono game. The hook, my hookups have been 10 times better since I started using the 832 a couple years ago. Uh, I don't miss many fish. My rod uh, is a 10 foot pin carnage too. Uh, for the money, I do not think you can beat these rods. Uh, for pay laking, uh, it is, they're just, they're a beast. Um, there's more expensive rods out there, uh, but I mean, for what I have in these rods, I just, I just don't think they can be beat. The reel I'm using is a uh, Edward Garcia Pink 6500 Pro Rocket. Um, I, I, I like Pro Rockets. I think there's Personally, I think there's better reels out there, uh, but if you're in the situation like me um, and I like to buy uh, early in the season and sell my stuff late in the season, uh, for the money, you can't beat a Pro Rocket because they hold their value. Uh, I like Luna's, uh, Luna 300s, uh, Calcutta 400Bs. I think those personally are, are better reels, um, but when you try to go sell them later on in the season, you'll find out that you're not even gonna come close to what you got your money into. Even though the majority of them are more expensive than rockets, they'll sell for a lot less uh, than rockets every single time. So uh, I've learned my lesson with that and I just I just stick with rockets now. And now, uh, getting back to it. Uh, a lot of people mono back their braid. I'm not one of those people. For one, I cannot tie a blood knot very good. And um, I just don't trust them. You know, I, I'd rather run this. I know that this is done right, so this is the way I do mine. Um, I buy my I suffix uh, my 832 off Amazon. It's a uh, 24.99 for a 300 pound spool. I run Ghost 80 pound. Um, I don't know. It just it just works for me. But I'll get into it and show you guys how to do this real fast. Uh, it's easy, uh, super super easy. As a matter of fact, but let's get into it. So all I've done so far is I've ran the line through the eye and then come, come down here and tied uh, just two granny knots. Cut my tag off. Um, what I want to do next is take a real small piece of electrical tape, just put it on that knot. That way when you start reeling, that knot's going to slip, not going to slip, knot is not going to slip. And so the next, the next piece is, is the crucial part. What you want to do here is put about four or five turns on this. So you want to have about that much there. If you can see it, I don't know, it's, it's maybe been around eight or nine, ten times. The next piece is your tape. This is where you actually tape back it. So all I'm doing is... Just putting this tape over what's already there. Let's see if I can get it on there straight without messing it up. And as you row this piece, it's basically going to tuck itself in, but you kind of you want to keep it tight on there so it, it stays tight. I know this it's hard to see, but. So basically, it's just rolling on top of the tape. So I don't know if you can see it, but that's how I'm going to start. I've already, my lines are under the tape and it's already been wrapped around once. And then from then on, you just start reeling like you normally would. Everybody's different on how much they put on here. Um, I'll show you how much I put on mine.
maybe. I'd already done this once and uh, it didn't take very well. So what I had to do was uh, redo the video. And so we got knotted up in a spot. That's okay. I'll dig it out. It only takes a second. I might just say forget it and cut it out. But for y'all's sake, I'll just work on it for a sec because I don't want to make this the video a third time. Braid's, uh, braids a different beast than mono. You need to really kind of, it took me quite a bit to uh, learn how to fish with it. I don't like to, I was always one that didn't like to, I set my, my rockets up so I didn't have to thumb my spool when I cast it. But with braid, I found that I need to thumb it just about every time. Because if it birds nest, and you'll learn, if it birds nest with braid, you better be ready to go because it's, uh, uh, sometimes it can be a pain to get out. And I've had to cut it out before, which sucks because this can be expensive. If you buy it from Pay Lake or a bait store, usually they run about 20 bucks for a 150 yards pool. Like I said, if you do it on Amazon, you can get 300 for about the, almost the same price. We about got it here, hang on a second. I don't see if you, I don't know if you can see this or not. That's about where I like to have mine. Just below the lip, the, the lip that angles back in, I like to leave just a little bit of gap there. And that's about as much as I put on there. Um, but that's, I mean, that's really about it. If you guys have any questions or whatever, that's cool. Just let me know. I'll uh, I'll try to answer as many as I can. Um, I, I think 832 is the the way to go, especially if you just like muscling in the fish and getting the job done. But thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.